Okay, on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got these three images which I downloaded from Unsplash. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and we'll take the first image which is of this guy and let's drag and drop him into Photoshop. So we want to change the background color. We don't want to remove it. We want to change this color of the background. To do this, let's click on this background and unlock the layer. Click on the image in the layer stack here. Hold down the control key and press J or command key and J on the Apple Mac. That will create a duplicate layer. Click on the top layer, go to select and select subject. That will allow us to do a selection around the person and then we can add a layer mask. Let's click add layer mask here. Let's click on the bottom image and then we want to go to the adjustment layer here. Click it and then select hue and saturation. You can add a clipping mask by clicking this option here. You don't really need to do that because there's no other layers below, but now you can control the hue and saturation for the background and you can change the color to whichever color you like, right? And you can increase the vibrancy and you can decrease it to grayscale it. So let's take a look at a separate image. Let's take a look at the one of this lady. The background is quite dark in here, but we can still use the same approach. So let's unlock the layer, click it, press command and J or control and J on the Windows computer. Click on the top layer. Let's go back to select and then we'll do subject. Let's add a layer mask like we did in the previous step and that will remove the background. Click on the bottom layer. Let's go to the adjustment layer and then we'll click hue and saturation. In the hue and saturation, we can again adjust the saturation level here and we can adjust the hue to bring different colors into the background. Let's take a look at the last image and that will be of this baby. Let's drag and drop him into uh, Photoshop and let's go ahead and press unlock this layer. Press Control and J or Command and J on the Mac. Click on this top layer. Let's go to select and we'll select subject. Let's go ahead and add a layer mask and then we're going to click on this layer and actually hide it. And we'll click on the bottom layer and we're going to create a new layer. So let's go ahead and create a new layer and we'll click on that new layer, blank layer here, and then we can add a gradient or a colored background. In this case, I'm gonna add a gradient. So let's click gradient, and in here we can see all the different gradient options, and I'm looking at blues, but you can pick other colors, there's purples, there's pinks, all of these variations. Maybe we'll look at blues in this case, and then we can scroll down and we can find a set of blue colors that we like. Let's try this one here, and then we can just drag a line down, you can drag it at an angle, and then you can have different gradients in the background and the image will have a different colored background now right and you can hide this layer hide the bottom one enable this one and then you can see the original image and now we can see the image with the cutout and a gradient background so that's how you can quickly remove backgrounds from pictures or just change the color of a picture in terms of its background and isolate the image of the person in front Let's go ahead and minimize this, close this folder. That's the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can find lots of different tutorials on a wide range of subjects. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.